Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, so today I thought I would do my spring favourites. So things that I've been reaching for a lot over the last couple of weeks. Um, some new additions, some things that I've rediscovered again. Um, sort of like sort of what products I've been loving, whether it's hair care, skin care, um, items of clothing that I've been loving, series that I've been watching. Um, yeah, just to bring together sort of a roundup of the things that I've been loving over the last couple of weeks. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to go on to hair care. Now, I, before lockdown, I have, um, I don't know how you want to call it. I don't know what the best word is. Anyway, before this time, um, I was really rubbish with my hair. Now, I always get a lot of comments on my hair. My hair is really long and it is really thick, but I don't really, well, I didn't really do that much to it at all. Um, I'd probably get my hair cut and coloured like once every six to eight months. Um... I would just shampoo and condition it, leave it to dry overnight. The one thing I did always do was, was put an oil in it. That's something that I did always do. But apart from that, I was pretty rubbish with my hair. So as we're, this last few weeks, I've been in like proper self-care mode. Like this is the time for us to like nourish our skin, nourish our hair, um, because we have time to do it, which usually we probably wouldn't do. So yeah, I have taken that fully on board and I have discovered some new hair products that I have been loving. So firstly is a hair treatment that I have been loving. I've heard a lot of hype around this product. This is the Olaplex number no. three. So yeah, the Olaplex number no. three repairs and strengthens for all hair types. Um, I've heard a lot of um, reviews about this. I'm pretty sure my hairdresser has used this on my hair in the salon um, or somewhere before. And I saw this on Cold Beauty and I was like, do you know what? I'm going to give this a go. Um, so I've used this two different ways. I have used this as like a little 10 minute mask um, before I wash my hair in the morning. And I've also used it as an overnight treatment. Personally, for me, I preferred it as an overnight treatment. I didn't really notice as much of a difference obviously just for putting it on for 10 minutes um but yeah when i use this i'll put like damp my hair in the shower and then pop this on leave it overnight and then wash my hair the following morning um and yeah i really like this i feel like it has really tamed my frizz i feel like it's got a really nice shine to it um and it just feels a, a hell of a lot nicer and nourished as such and i guess that's exactly what it says it says repairs and strengthens so i really recommend this it is quite pricey i think it's like 25 pound for this small little bottle um and i mean i've only used it well i've used it three times and can you see how much i've used probably nearly half a bottle um now i've used this probably like once every two weeks like you, it does say on here that you can use it two to three times a week or one times a week but i mean that's a lot that you'll be spending like a lot of money on this throughout the month if you did that so yeah i've been doing this once every every two weeks which i've really enjoyed and i feel like my hair is loving me for it and another hair care brand that i've recently discovered um i kindly got sent these in a pr gift and it's oh, i'm probably gonna really butcher it now is it jisoo kisu jisoo it's by negan I mean, I'm hoping you all know who Negan is. I'm pretty sure you will do because I cannot pronounce her last name to save my life. Um, but anyway, they sent me these three gorgeous products. Um, and the first one is this honey infused hair oil. I also got a prep me, prime me, define me um, infused polishing primer. And lastly, they sent me this honey infused hair perfume. Um, I think the first thing to notice is the packaging. I am obsessed. This packaging is so, so nice. And um, I've got it on my, um, I'll insert a little clip. I've got it on my little tray in my bathroom and it looks so nice. So that's one thing that's already won me over because if the packaging is good, then I'm already know that I'm gonna like it. Anyway, this smells so nice. Oh, it smells good. It's like literally like a hair perfume. Um, I really like this oil because it's really thin. I use this in damp hair and I also use this in dry hair. I love a hair oil. I've used it so many times already and yeah, it literally looks like I've not used it. Um, and I, what I really like about this one is that it's got the, I don't want to spill anywhere. It's got the, is it pipette or the, oh God, I'll just, oh, I don't want to lose any. <laughs> the little pipette, which I think is really good um, because it just means that you can get like a little pea sized amount which is like literally all you need um and it's just so easy to use whereas i've got ones where you have to tip the bottle and then it just goes and i'm like brilliant i've got so much hair oil now my hair's gonna be greasy so yeah i've been really loving that okay so this product you can use on dry or damp hair um so if i have washed my hair that morning and then i'm gonna style it i will pop this in but even on a day where i haven't washed my hair i will still use this before i style it 
and I really think that this helps maintain my frizz really well. I love the smell of it again. I don't know if it's the same smell as the... Mm. It just smells so good. And you literally only need a pea size. So this this is going to last for me so long. Um, what does it say on here? It's a lightweight styling primer which prepares your hair for styling routine. It prevents and diminishes frizz, reduces drying time, and ensures optimal workable hold upon the use of heated styling tools. Perfect product. Um, so yeah, I always curl my hair, so I feel like this has, well yeah, just makes it a lot nicer. And I'm really enjoying using this a lot. And then the last one is this hair perfume. And oh my god, I've never seen anything like this. And I was like, mm, hair perfume, da da da. But I love it. Like, even when I go to bed, I just give myself a little spritz. I'm like, mm, I'm gonna smell nice in the bedroom. Um, I just love this. It smells really, really good. Like, really, really good. Um, I can always, like, when I'm walking, like, outside, I can always, like, whiff my hair. Um, and yeah, I just think this is, like, now, like, a new essential, which is gonna be dangerous because... I'm just going to be using this all the time. I really, really enjoy it. And it's not too overpowering. So, like, you can wear both normal perfume and hair perfume. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not a really overpowering scent that you're going to be, like, mix and matching perfume. Um, this is really, really nice. So, I would highly recommend if you're just looking for a little bit of spritz or just a little bit of luxury during this period. Um, okay, so that is all of the hair products. Oh, no, no, no. There's one more. Oh, it's been sat behind me the whole time. Another hair accessory that you can, as such, that I've been loving is silk scrunchies. Um, I can't remember where this is, one is from, but I will link it below. Um, but I have, these have just been an essential for me right now, like working from home. Like I sometimes want to put the hair out on my face or so literally just put it in like a little cute pony. I feel like it literally just adds just something a bit nicer than a hair bubble really. And it's silk, so it's not going to damage your hair in any way. Um, and yeah, I just feel like they look really nice. I always wear a silk scrunchie to bed as well, so my hair's not all getting in the place. Um, and yeah, like I said, they just look a little bit nicer than a normal hairband. So you cannot go wrong with a silk scrunchie at this time of the year. At this time, because I can imagine everyone is probably wearing their hair up. So yeah, 100% recommend these. Now, going on to skincare, I have been reaching for two products a lot recently. Um, the first one is the, my Estee Lauder Daywear um a sheer tint release now this is a moisturizer it is like a bluey color and then as you rub it into your skin um it gives you like a really nice glow and when i've not been wearing makeup i have been loving this just because i'm not putting like fake tan on my face at the minute so i've been feeling like my face has been so pale um and i didn't like it i would look in the mirror and i'm like oh i feel so dull but yeah this just gives you that little bit of extra glow a little bit of coverage and it's got spf 15 in it so it's perfect when you go out for your daily walk um or if you're sitting in the garden and I have been really, really liking this. And then on the days where I have wanted to wear a little bit more makeup, but not foundation, because I've not really been enjoying wearing foundation recently. I have, oh my God, <laughs> I have been enjoying this. The labels come off. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood filter. And I am obsessed with this. So it's in like, if you can see, it's literally like a bronzy color, but when, as you buff it into the skin, it gives you such a nice glow. You're not too like shiny or anything like that, but it's just, I just love it so if i wear that and then the sheer tint release i'll then put this on top and i just love the complexion that it gives oh i've got it all over my hands now why did i open it love the glow that it gives and sometimes i'll put that on pop a little bit of bronzer on do my brows no mascara and then like that's perfect for me because i've been really liking not wearing mascara recently i've obviously got it on now because i thought it would look weird if <laughs> i didn't have it on in the video but yeah i have been really enjoying not wearing mascara and just like a nice lip balm give me a bit of a golden complexion and my brows and there, that's me done. So another essential and a favorite of mine over the last couple of weeks has been pajamas. Um, obviously we are in isolation, we're staying in our homes a lot. So I think it is a necessity that you have a nice comfy pair of pajamas. Okay, so I have two pairs that I reach for. I have my ultimate comfy cozy ones, which are these ones here. They are a gray, are these like a cotton pajama they're super super soft these are from ha designs i'll leave a link to them below and you can get them personalized with your initial which i really really like um but the trousers on these are like a super high-waisted bottom and they're just a wide leg like so these are so soft so comfy i've washed them so many times and they literally come out so well um and these are like the ultimate sunday film afternoon cozy pajamas um 
I'm literally obsessed. I got these in a size small. I wouldn't say they're, I would say they're true to size. Um, and yeah, if you're looking for a nice new pair of PJs, then I would 100 recommend these for like ultimate comfort. If you're wanting something a little bit nicer, like sometimes I have those days where I just want to wear pajamas, but I want something a little bit nicer. Um, I've literally just got these from ASOS. Now, this, these are like a satin material. They're in white, which might be a bit dangerous, but I love a bit of white. And it it is a crossover. I'll probably try these on in a couple ways to show you anyway. It's like a kimono style top. So they're like crossover and you tie them. They've got three quarter length sleeves. Where's the tie? Here's the tie here. Um, but yeah, I'll try these on in the cutaways to show you. Um, but yeah, I really like the black piping. I am loving that right now. Um, and I think that's really nice. They're a really soft satin. Not too silky, which I quite like. They're kind of like a bit of a... Hmm, I don't know how I'd say it. No, not too shiny, I'd say. Like a matte satin, which is really, really nice. And then the bottoms. Again, just a normal wide leg. They have the little black trim on the top, which I think is really cute. And then again on the bottom, I got these in a UK 8 and they fit perfectly. So again, true to size. And yeah, I just love them. Just feel like something a little bit nicer um, to wear around the house. And they feel really luxurious when they're on as well. I do think those were a little bit on the pricey side. I think they're about £40. Um, but ASOS are doing a lot of sales at the minute. So you might be able to get them a little bit discounted. Um, but yeah, I really love those pyjamas. Sticking to the clothing, another essential that I've been loving. It's a bit weird because it's a massive chunky cardigan in spring. But I have been obsessed with this. So this is another cardigan from ASOS. Um, I'm not sure if they still have it in stock. I will check. I got this one in a medium um, and it is really just oversized, like a big cardigan. So what I've been using with this, I haven't actually, well, I have been wearing it as a cardigan, but I've been loving it even more as a blanket. Um, so if I've been like wearing more of a spring outfit, so like say shorts and a top, instead of like getting changed and joggers and stuff, I've been using this as a blanket. And I'm obsessed. Ralph is obsessed too. And once it's over my legs, he's just straight on top of my legs, just having a snooze. He loves it. I think it's essential to have a cozy cardigan. There's so many out there, so I'll try and find a few alternatives to this one. Um, but yeah, I don't know where, what I would do without this, to be honest. I reach for it all the time. If I'm a little bit chilly, I'm like, where's my cardigan? <laughs> Finds me my cardigan, and I literally love it. Okay, this next one, I... I think you probably would have guessed but if i was gonna include some items of clothing in my spring favorites then it had to be the top shop best tops <laughs> because we all know i'm obsessed with them um and yeah i live in these i feel like i've pretty much worn at least well worn a color of this style of top every day i mean i've not got it on now because i thought i should change it up but um yeah i am obsessed they're the perfect fit yeah, I mean, you only need to have watched a few of my other videos to know how much I love them. I get them in a UK 10, for if you're new here. Um, I have them in every colour. They're the perfect top to wear with jeans, joggers. The style of them is so flattering, having the racer neck. And yeah, I am obsessed. And I might have another colour in the post on the way. Stay tuned for that one. And then another item is joggers. So I thought I'd show you a different pair of joggers today, which I have been loving because I've not featured these in a video yet. These are from Meshki. Um, I have a Meshki haul coming after this video, yep, on Sunday. So please look out for that one. And these are their high-waisted joggers. So I love these. They have got the super high, um, thick waistband here. They're in a skinny leg jogger. And then they've also got the long cuff on the bottom. Um, I get these, and I always get Meshki in a small, um, I know they're from Australia, so I would, yeah, I always get a small and I'm about a UK 8, so if you can obviously work that out within reference. They've got the little Meshki logo on the side, on the pockets, and these are just super soft. And I love these just because they're a little bit nicer than a baggy jogger, they suck you in, and yeah, I always feel really nice in these joggers. I have them in a black and then also a green as well. But my black and green are in Devon and obviously I've not been able to go down and get them because we're in, I'm here. I'm not at my parents right now, so that's great. So yeah, I've been loving a pair of joggers um, and they have definitely been a spring favourite. So my other favourites this month, which I thought I would mention, that aren't necessarily items. So I thought Netflix series. So we have binged watched the last season of Money Heist. We absolutely love it. Always literally 
grabs our attention and we have to watch it all straight away the only annoying thing is obviously i think it's a spanish series and then they dub over the top in the uk so i've learned not to watch their lips <laughs> because otherwise it really annoys me um but such a great series i think there's four parts now so if you want to binge watch that one i would highly recommend um we've also been loving the nest which is just gone on bbc in the uk i think there was six episodes or five five episodes maybe and that was really really good really good series it finished last night in the uk and i really enjoyed that one um and then other series i we have been loving we've started watching ozark um so i'll keep you updated on that maybe i'll just list a few of my favorite actually just in case you've not seen them so i love power we've watched safe um which is also really good the stranger you'll watch that so quickly i've just started watching elite um as well so i'll let you know on that one um unbelievable is it called that's a really good series i have so many um i might leave them down below actually i'm not just going to list them off here because they'll go on forever um and then another thing that i've been loving to do at the moment is bake um i love to bake anyway but i've really got back into it considering we're at home all the time um i'll leave my i get quite a lot of questions on this on my instagram so i'll leave my banana bread recipe down below and i've recently just tried it with nutella and it is lovely as soon as this video is finished i'm going to be having a slice with a cup of tea that's for sure so yeah that is all of my current spring favorites i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i shall see you in the next video bye